Okay, this is out of box number 15, and I'm going to open it up and see what's inside. Uh, I've only had two of these. The last one was over the holiday, so it's been some time since I've seen one. What, six months? I think they were on delay because of COVID. Uh, the last one was a blast. I got it right at the uh, beginning of December of 2019. A lot of great things. I didn't really do a video. This is uh, just a fun video to show what's inside out of box 15, and let's see if I'm excited about it. Let's dive in. I uh, covered up all the offending information so that uh, I don't have a bunch of people sending me things. However, if you would like to send me something retro computer related, I would be happy to let you do that. Just reach out to me and say, hey, I've got a product or I've got some excess retro tech that maybe you're interested in featuring on your channel. I would be happy to take a look at it. You can leave a comment below and tell me how this is the best way to get hold of you. You can also DM me on Twitter at twitter.com slash Stephen Combs. All right, let's open up and see what we get inside. Hold on, I have to get that out of the uh, address was there, so I've cut that out. Um, this is come to your sensors. Ha! Huh. Not come to your senses, but come to your sensors. So this obviously is a, a sensor-based uh, uh, Atabox 15 project. A late game is only late until it ships. A bad game is bad until the end of time. Great quote. I love that quote. All right, let's get in here and see what we have. Now, typically... We have this protective box, but then we actually have the add a box itself. Now, last time, last December, there was a nice little addition outside of the box. There was a nice magazine. It was Hackspace Magazine. Uh, thumbs up on that one, add a fruit for that one. Okay, so here's the add a box. The add a box is, um, these are really nice boxes. Um, you always wonder what's inside and you get excited about it. And it reminds me of the old Heath kit days. Yes, I'm old enough to remember old Heath kits where you would get a project that you would order from a catalog and put it together. So I'm always anxious to do this. And you all know I love physical computing, Arduinos, Raspberry Pi. So I'm anxious to see what we have in number 15. Let's see if we can figure out how to open this box. Looks like we're going to do the same thing we always do, which is slide the box out of its protective shell here. There we go. Move that there. Oh, very nice. See, I just I love this where you have the add a box stamped out of the protective cover and then you have the magnifying glasses coming through that. So let me go ahead and pull that off. And we have this piece right here and this is add a box 015 get a clue. Hey, do you feel like you don't have a clue? Do you want to get a clue? In this add a box we will give you a clue, the add a fruit clue. So there's some information. I'll leave that here so you can take a quick look at that. Pause for effect. And here's what's in the contents. I don't want to do it that way. Let's dive in first and then we'll come back to this sheet and see what actually is inside. So let's open it up and see what we have. Oh, and I, I love the way they, I always love the way they have the tissue paper and packet and tissue paper have their own little stamp here. This is really a classy outfit. I gotta tell you, I'm really digging this. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this out slowly. Oh, something fell out. I was hoping that wouldn't happen. So let's go ahead and move the box. And uh, let's do, let me just kind of shove that back in there. There we go. All right, let's open it up here. I'm trying to figure out ways I can use that tissue paper. I'm thinking for a future uh, birthday gift or, uh, I don't know, some other uh, special event gift it would be awesome to use for. And, oh my goodness, how perfect is this? Mm, I feel like maybe I should use this for the rest of the time, but... Our COVID mask is included. Uh, and I think that is a very responsible thing to do. Thank you, Lady, Lady Ada and Ada Fruit Industries for doing that. And this is a KN95 mask. Does it have the pouch on the inside? No, it does not. But still, what a great mask. Uh, so thank you for including that. I think that is so socially responsible. Nicely done. Also inside we have these nuts and bolts and we have the Adafruit Bonsai Buckaroo. I can't wait to play with that. Uh, I am not familiar with this board. Looking forward to seeing what that does. Inside we also have the Adafruit Clue. So this gets to the whole clue theme that we were just talking about. Let's go ahead and see what this thing looks like. Uh, I could see what the Bonsai looked like but I didn't really get a chance to see what this looked like through this bag. So this is a very similar to a BBC, BBC micro bit, uh, and I have one of those around here somewhere. I don't think I have it handy, unfortunately. That would have been nice if I had it handy, but it appears to have the same form factor, only this one has a 
cute screen on it. So looks like maybe a little OLED screen. Can't wait to see we do that. Two micro switches. Hear those? Are here. Uh, and uh, you can see the uh, the electronics on the back with another micro switch here. Probably reset. Uh, we've got a couple of ports. Obviously have our micro USB port here. You can see that. Uh, and then we have our battery. Typically, I think that's a battery connector. Yes, it's for our 3 to 6 volt battery. So probably a LiPo battery that we can put on there. Very nice. Uh, inside we have, let's keep diving in. Looks like we are going to do something with a, oh, this isn't good. Uh, this is kind of a crushed, a potted plant pot, but it's kind of crushed. So maybe we can get that out. That's disappointing. It got so crushed, but I don't know how it wouldn't get crushed, honestly, in this. So inside, what in the world? Look at this. We have gloves. Are these gloves? Are these what I think they are? Are these on right? Am I putting these on right? Is that right? I think that's right, right? This is cool. You always, you never know what you're going to get. I love this. This is good. So I'll we'll explore that a little bit as we go as well. And then inside we have some tubing and a pump. So it looks like we're going to be building um, something that's going to pump water into our potted plant and then measure the amount of moisture, I would assume. So we'll check that out. Let's see. We have that. We have tubing here. So that's for the moisture. We have three batteries. We have our battery. This looks like an easy project. I think I'm going to really enjoy this one. We have a very uh, a simple box here. And this will take the three um, AAA batteries. And then this is that battery connector that I suspect will plug in to there. Can you see that? OK, good. Uh, so there's that. We have some alligator clips here and here we have whoa i'm going to assume we are going to use these nails not to nail things in but we're probably going to use these as some kind of sensor uh, and i believe we can measure distance across uh, and see resistance in the potted soil to get the moisture content something like that i believe i am not a potted plant person so this actually appeals to me because i am not my wife will love this she loves potted plants I need to share this with her. Maybe we'll put this together together. She might enjoy that. Very tiny screw. I think this is probably for, yeah, this is for the uh, battery compartment here. So we would use that there. And then we have these two final strips here. Uh, it looks like these are double-sided tape. So I'm not going to mess with those. Those are two double-sided strips. So that is what is inside the Adafruit 15. Let's go back to our card and just verify what we have. We have... The Adafruit Clue, which is this little guy right here, is the star of the show with a color display. Uh, tons of sensors, um, micro bit compatibility, and Arduino and CircuitPython support for a ton of awesome projects. I have not played with CircuitPython. Uh, I plan to do that with this, so that it would be really good. Then the Bonsai, which is here. This is the bonsai with uh, screws and uh, nuts. Is a plant care helper for Clue. Bolted on with the five screws. So this is actually going to bolt on to, oh, I see. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and open this so we can see. Okay. There we go. There's the nuts and bolts. And this will probably go on somehow like this. I'll take a look at the instructions later and we'll figure that out. And then this will, a plant care helper for Clue, bolted on with the five screws to get a buzzer beeper, a three volt DC motor driver to, to uh, push moisture, and alligator clips for connecting. Yes, I wondered if the, uh, the alligator clips weren't included for these big connectors on the micro bits. Really just scream for an alligator connector. Uh, three AA or three AAA batteries, two alligator clip cable leads, yep, plus stainless steel nails, the water pump and clear PVC tubing, the starter planter pot, there it is in, well, such, such as it is, I think there's probably <laughs> something we can use that would be better, but I'll probably start with that. Uh, fingerless glove, this says just one. You can attach the clue to the glove to create hand motion projects. Well, first of all, uh, fingerless glove just one, not for me, fingerless glove two. I'm doubled up on these, but that's interesting. I can attach the clue to the glove to create hand motion projects. So 
obviously an accelerometer built into this thing. This could be some kind of great Halloween project. I'm going to have to think about that. And then a face mask. We have been giving these K. N95 masks out to New Yorkers, nurses, doctors, and anyone else who needs face covering. Again, well played. Very nice. So that is what's inside at a fruit box or at a box 01515. I am excited. I will go into this project and put it together. I'm not going to do that here. I'm just going to do a quick unbox to show you what's inside. And, and I think once you do that and see what's inside, you can see uh, what kinds of projects are available. There's obviously with these boxes, there is a set project that they want you to do, but it's supposed to get your mind thinking about other things that you can do with the same components. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this. Open the box for the Atabox 015. And hey, spoiler alert, I'll put that at the beginning. If you are an Atabox subscriber, you don't want to watch this video now, right? I should have told you that at the beginning. I'll try and put something at the beginning of the video. So thanks for watching.